So I have this very bad formatted code here, very badly formatted. There are some spaces here, some tabs here. I'm using double quotes here and single quotes here. Some lines have semicolon and some don't. So this is a very unorganized and very bad code. But if I do control S and save this, everything is well formatted and it is organized. So every line has a semicolon now. We are only using single quotes. So let's see how we can do this. Now make a note that you can use double quotes everywhere. You can remove semicolon everywhere, but your code is consistent. So let's see how we can do this. First, go to your extensions by clicking this button here or click Ctrl Shift X and your extensions will open. Now search for P R E T T I R prettier. Now you will see this option. Now make sure you use this official prettier, prettier code formatter. This is from prettier and the version is 10 or greater. It has more than 38 million downloads. So click on install. After Prettier is installed, go back to your file, open your file. If I hit Ctrl S, nothing happens because we have not yet configured to format when we are saving the file. So for now, what you can do is right click on the file, click on format document with. Now this is a JavaScript file and I have some other formatters available for JavaScript. If you don't have, only Prettier will show up here. So click on Prettier and Prettier will format your document and we have a nice looking document now. But every time we want to format, we cannot just do right click and go to format document with that's pretty hectic, right? So let's make it so that whenever we save our file, it is automatically formatted. So how can we do that? Click on the settings button, click on settings and search for format. Now there is no default formatter for now. What I can do is I can just choose prettier and it will be the default formatter. And you can select format on save. This means that whenever we save our file, Prettier will format the file. So go back to file. Now hit Ctrl S. And as you can see, Prettier has formatted the document. Now, what if you don't want to use double quotes? You want single quotes and you don't want semicolon. If this is the case, what do we want to do? So let's say we don't want double quotes and our document is something like this, right? So what you can do is again, click on your settings and click on settings. This time search for Prettier. And you will see this option inside extensions. Click on this and here you will see all these settings. All right, first you can see if prettier is enabled or not. And if you scroll down long enough, you will see whether to add semicolon at end of line or not. You can uncheck this and you can click this. Use single instead of double quotes. Now, how many spaces should we use per tab? You can set it that too. So right now it's configured to use two. So, but if you want to use four spaces, just write to four and use tab to indent. We can do all these settings here. Now, once these are done, go back and hit Control S. As you can see, all the semicolon are removed and everything is in single quotes. So now our code looks consistent and it looks good. But what if there are multiple people working on this project and you want this to just work on your system? and in just one project not in every project so you can do all those things like format on save and use semicolon use or not use semicolon but it can be project specific to make it project specific not throughout your system on every project what you can do is just click manage again and click settings again and this time when you choose to make changes what you can do is first let's remove our format on save right so what you can do is type format again and by default, we are formatting on save. That is, there are two things here, as you can see. One is user, one is workspace. So if you click format on save in user, that means that format on save will be applicable for every project that you have. But let's say for this project, for some reason, you don't want to format on save. What you can do is go to workspace and check this. And now a VS code file or folder will be created. Now inside this, there is configuration that is specific to our folder, but we don't want to save on format, right? So Uncheck this again and let's say we want to use semicolons for this project. So write prettier again. Now click on this again. Let's say we want to use double quotes and tab width is let's say tab width is uh, four spaces and we want to use double quotes, right? So right now everything is in single quotes, but for this project, that is this workspace itself, we just want to use four spaces and double quotes and yeah, we will use semicolon also. Now, if I click on settings.json, as you can see, format on save is false. 
and tab width is 4 all right now if i go here and make some changes so i'll hit tab here add it a space here let's add double quotes here and add a semicolon here now if i hit ctrl s as you can see this is not saved because in our settings of json editor format on save is false all right now i can close this now i can right click on it and click on format document width and choose prettier and it will format as you can see the quotes double quotes are changed to single quotes yeah let's say we want to add semicolon also so what you can do is again go here click on settings and search for prettier and click on prettier and click on workspace now we change this for just this workspace and let's add semicolon okay so now if I check settings.json, semicolon is false. So what you can do is, instead of going to manage icon here and going to settings, you can directly change here. So if you want to format on save, we just write true here. And let's say we want to add semicolon, we just write true here also. Now hit save. So right now what will happen is, just for this workspace or this project, we will format on save, tab width is 4, and we are inserting semicolons. All right. So here also, if there is no setting here for something let's say there is no setting for say this quotes right so it will be taken from your global or, or your user configuration from your this configuration all right and all the configuration that are in settings.json this will override whatever you have in your user configuration because this is file level or your workspace level so let's make some changes let's add a semicolon here let's add a tab here let's add some spaces now let's hit control s and as you can see this time all the semicolons are added single quotes are used all the spaces are removed when we hit control s because we have those settings in our settings.json file inside our .vs code folder so this is how you can format your javascript files if you want to format other files you can easily go to extensions and search for whatever language you are using and you can search for a specific formatter for those things as you can see for python we have black formatter and there are a bunch of other stuff but for javascript and these languages typescript close jsx json your most of your front-end related project twitter is the best one that i've used till now